So, what I bought was called an irrigation winterization kit. And what it came with was this here, so I can hook on the air compressor, and this component here. Now, when I was in the store, I wasn't thinking. I went, okay, these two go together, and that will hook on to my faucet, or my hose pipe going to my sprinklers. Oh, how wrong I was, because guess what? I need a male adapter, not a female adapter. It was later on in the day and I wasn't thinking, so I had to go back and I've got this male adapter here. It's actually a hose pipe um, extender, I think it's called. So that goes in. So this is the setup I'm going to use to blow out the sprinklers. I might need to put some tape on these. This here is the setup. So this is going to attach onto my sprinklers. So let me show you that. So what's going to happen here is I'm going to unscrew these four couplings here and then individually I'm going to hook this up to each individual one and then blow the sprinklers out. Now I'm probably going to start around 30 psi, that's minimum pressure that is needed to blow uh, for the water pressure, I think 25 might actually be. So I'm going to start off there and um, go through each sprinkler and then go back and go through each sprinkler again. So I just need to undo this from each individual one. I thought about putting it through the splitter here, and I just don't want to do that. I want to go straight in here. Um, this is getting taken apart anyway because it's going to go in, so I don't want this left lying around over the winter. So it's all getting dismantled anyway, so I think it might be better just to go straight in from this coupling here. So let's get on with that. So first off, I left the water on. I opened up the valve. I was doing one of the single lines right now and turn the water off the faucet that way any water um, is blown out because I do have a problem where if I don't do that I, this will spray everywhere so now I can turn that off and then I can start disconnecting these ready for blowing out so they come off real easily this is why I did it this, this method um, oh God, nothing there. I will be getting a timer for this spring maybe next summer um, there's four, four lines we are putting a front system in but that's um, going to be next year now it's too late in the year for me to be digging up the front yard um, the back yard was difficult enough so there we go they're all off so I'm going to use do the single lines first now the way I have this set up is so it's easy to remember these two here are the center, central sprinklers which are on one line each and these two here are the dual line sprinkler, so there's two sprinklers at the top here on this line and then two down the bottom right on that line. So I'm going to go and hook up the um, compressor. It's got its pressure built up, built up and I'll use a regulator to turn, put it to 30 psi and then we, I will show this being blown out. So I'm going to go for this one first, this is a single line. So here I've got my tool which if I were to turn the pressure on I did check that pressure is coming out here. So you can see there there isn't a valve. Uh, where are we going? I don't know if you can see in there. There. So you can't see there there's no valve in there. So when I turn the regulator to allow pressure through, it, the pressure just comes straight through. So before adjusting the regulator you want to connect this up. Uh, you wouldn't want to get this blown in your eyes or anything. I do have goggles on. Uh, see goggles. Um, Make sure I don't get my make sure that's snugged up there. And we're gonna go and turn the regulator and then see how this works. So excuse the mess, we do have a refrigerator door there because you don't want to leave them outside, so here we're just gonna turn this slowly and build up pressure. Let's go down this way. So we get to roughly 30. So I say that's 10. Here one coming up. It says probably 20 and then there's 30. Now this is not the most wild sprinkler I've seen but it is just misting out a little bit. I have seen them where they jump up and down and they do actually throw a fair bit of water. I mean we're not going too far and I guess gravity is on our side down here so when I do turn the system off the water does run down, um, but that there looks fairly, fairly good. And I've 
just broke my rule of walk on the grass but you can see it's it's looking good so I'll pull the pressure back down go on to the other other three then come back to that one As you can see this one here is actually having a little bit of a, a fit, it's spinning round in circles, I mean that's just 30 psi, nothing crazy, so I'll let this go for a minute and I will go through the rest of it and cycle back through. It is important to go back through it twice, or go back through it for a second time, just make sure anything that was blown down has been blown out, and then yeah, you're good to go for the winter.